My name is Abebe Mukunen, and I'm working for Jekdo here in Dure Jawa's project manager. Uh, actually, here in Jekdo, in different areas, and even here in Dure Jawa, we are closely working with communities, and uh, through working that uh, within the communities, we have actually experienced through years that there are stronger grassroots community institutions uh, that had been existing for many years. So now, what we are doing now is we are making use of these grassroots community institutions to do the development process by themselves. And now we are turning to be actually facilitating the process. Uh, in line with this, actually, currently uh, we have a, we have got a small project that is aimed at strengthening and establishing the com com grassroots community uh, development associations network. That's called the DDCAN, Trade or Community Action Network. Now it's incorporating about 44 CBOs with more than 6,000 actual members. The idea is we'll be actually raising this number up to 120 CBOs. That will be nearly more, more consisting of more than 20,000 people actually in the town. And this is mainly to facilitate, to build their capacity and create enabling situations so that they'll be managing their local development issues through mobilizing grassroots, their grassroots community institutions. So this will be, I think, a great opportunity in the future that issues like the same there are, the climate change issue that requires actually bigger community mobilization, broader collaboration and partnership, and the same there are plus, which is the HIV issue that will be addressed actually through the SEP, that will be best alternative mechanism of actually igniting the, the community so that they will be reversing the currently existing trend. Through years we have realized that there is big, big capacity within communities, so the issue is now most of the CBOs are coming actually on board to, to, to deal with local development issues. So issues, broader issues like climate change, HIV issue and others will be best addressed if we use these opportunities. So the good thing with JECTO is the CBDR and SCP will be managed by the local communities through time, through establishing this grassroots strong uh, community organizations like the DDCAR. I am Daniel Hailuk uh, from Radio Hailuk, and I am working uh, in this kind of CBO as a project uh, coordinator. Uh, as what we have visited uh, yesterday, uh, there is a transfer of uh, knowledge and uh, SCP process. That CEO is one of the members of that uh, action network. So uh, the previous implemented project in the other CBO is uh, transferring in, 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 the, in, this, in this one. Uh, so uh, this uh, uh, DDCAN or uh, Community Action Network uh, have good opportunity to uh, transfer uh, knowledge uh, and learning like uh, ACP uh, process. So we have visited yesterday. Uh, we have observed observe, uh, observe a lot of uh, things in the process of uh, ACP. Uh, that thing is starting uh, to discuss over the issue. Uh, even they are uh, identifying HIV, HIV, and hazard for that uh, particular community. And even uh, they are starting to uh, make their uh, social map, even uh, drawing their really uh, map, even setting uh, the community action plan. So this is uh, a good uh, initiative and inspiration uh, that is transferred from uh, that community to uh, the other one.